More than 30 million crows fly around this country, but among all creatures, these birds may be among the least understood. Ben Tracy shows us new research into their soaring intelligence and surprising warmth. Crows have always been a bit creepy. It probably doesn't help that a group of them is not so sweetly referred to as a murder, or that films such as Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds turn them into attempted murderers. These are the eyes of the bird here, huge. Professor John Marsloff studies urban birds at the University of Washington. He says forget the notion of dark and scary, crows are friendly and smart. I always call them flying monkeys. I think they're a very small flying monkey. Neurally, mentally, cognitively, they're a flying monkey. So for the people who are creeped out by crows, you just really creep them out. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> A crow's brain is the size of a human thumb, huge relative to its body, putting their intelligence on par with primates and allowing them to solve complex problems. The PBS series Nature showed an experiment where a crow figured out how to use a small stick to retrieve a larger stick and then use that to retrieve a piece of food that was well out of reach. <coughs> Marsloff also conducts research with these masks. His team wears them on campus and then records what kind of sounds the crows make. They have discovered crows recognize and remember individual faces. By sedating the birds and putting them through a PET scan, they found different areas of a crow's brain light up when they see a person they perceive as friendly or threatening. When crows see people, what can they do with that information? Well, one, they recognize individual people that are important to them. And when somebody does something dangerous, they mark that person, remember that person, as far as I can tell, for their life. These crows seem to remember eight-year-old Gabby Mann for a good reason. She and her mom, Lisa, feed them in their Seattle backyard. They love dog food. How smart do you think these crows are? Very smart. They actually ran, ran a test to see if a crow was as smart as a seven-year-old. What did they find out? It was. Smart enough, it appears, to keep a good thing going. This is a lot of stuff. I know. Gabby has a carefully cataloged collection of more than 70 trinkets her neighborhood crows have left on her bird feeder, including earrings, a heart, and a best friend charm. What do you think they're telling you? That I'm the friend. <laughs> Marsloff says more likely they are telling her to keep the food coming. He wrote an entire book called Gifts of the Crow. He says the behavior is part of a courtship with humans. Crows and their relatives, ravens and magpies, have been known to form close bonds with people. These are photos of a wild magpie that continually visits the same family which rescued and fed it. So when the crows first started bringing gifts for you, what did you think about that? I thought we should feed them more. <laughs> to get more <laughs> gifts? <laughs> So much for having a bird brain. So what do you got there? A penny. So the crows gave you money? Yes. That's a pretty good crow. <laughs> for CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Seattle. I love that story. How fascinating is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't know it either. Very I had no cool. idea yeah. crows really were so cool smart. stuff.